You know the Me Too movement, this time of reckoning for sexual harassers and predators. But in Hillsborough County government, most sexual harassers keep their jobs. And your tax dollars pay their salaries. I feel like HR knew they were wrong and that the ball was dropped somewhere. You're gonna hear from a former county employee who says she continued to run into her harasser at work. How does something like that happen? And because of what we found, a county commissioner is already taking action. Let's see what's brewing. I'm Jenna Bourne, and I'm an investigative reporter at 10 Tampa Bay. If you're new here, welcome to our caffeine-fueled homemade deep dive into issues that matter to you. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Tell me why you wanted to meet at this park. This is the park that I, um, I went to for my after school. This is the park that I, um, I grew up in. When Tiffany Brazel became a teenager, she started working with kids at the Hillsborough County Parks Department. One, two, three, four, five, six! Good job, high five. The parks were her safe place. But in 2017, when she was 20 years old, Brazel says the man she reported to at the Jackson Springs Community Center tried to take that safe place away from her. What do you feel comfortable telling me about what the harassment was like? It was hard. Um, with this, this specific guy being my direct supervisor, um, I didn't know how to handle it. It was uncomfortable emotionally, physically. Brazel decided to take her safe place back. She reported him and he was placed on administrative leave while the county investigated. The county's disciplinary records say HR ultimately found that manager made graphic sexual comments to Brazel, made comments about her body and would look her up and down, winking at her and licking his lips. The disciplinary records also say he regularly tried to text her at night. Screenshots the county reviewed from Brazel's phone records show text messages like this one saying, Maybe you need a back massage. His county personnel file shows he was demoted and moved to a different park. How long did it take to demote him? Eight months. That's unacceptable in my mind. I, I, I would never um, allow or facilitate an investigation um, to go on for that long. To me, that, that's a recipe for disaster. Brazel says she was never notified that the investigation was over and she started running into her harasser at multiple county meetings. Court records from Brazel's eventual retaliation lawsuit show the county acknowledges it did not inform Brazel of the outcome of its investigation. HR never reached out to me and said, hey, this is what we found. This is what we're gonna do. Instead, it took me running into him at a meeting, full on panic mode for me to say, hey, this is, where did the ball drop? At some of the meetings that we had to go to, there was probably 10 of us in a meeting where I would sit directly across from him. Hillsborough County's HR director, Ivy Martin, agreed to meet with us. How does something like that happen? It would be unintentional. Uh, we do make every effort uh, to ensure that we separate and don't have the uh, accuser and the harasser engaging in day-to-day -day business or working together. Brazel says she told HR she was dissatisfied with how it handled the investigation. And I asked them questions like, where did we go wrong here? If you guys have a zero tolerance policy in HR and you found him guilty, why, why is he back in the parks? But does Hillsborough County have a zero tolerance policy? While the county has referred to its harassment policy as zero tolerance on some forms, the policy itself doesn't actually say it's zero tolerance. Can you explain that? Yes. If there is any form of behavior that is sexual in nature or harassing in nature that takes place in the workplace that is a violation of our policy, we are going to address that conduct through discipline to ensure that it is not happening. But so zero tolerance doesn't necessarily mean that the sexual harasser will be fired. It means that we are going to ensure that we address the conduct and that that behavior is addressed so that it won't occur again. We found Hillsborough County rarely fires anyone for sexual harassment. We went through a decade of the county's investigation records. The county found 13 employees violated its sexual harassment policy during that time. 
Out of those 13, the county fired two. Three others resigned. Eight of the 13 got to keep their jobs. We took these numbers to Meredith Gauntz. She's an employment attorney in St. Petersburg. And she tells us she was surprised how many workers kept their jobs after the county's investigations found they sexually harassed people on the clock. Usually when you have a, um, a substantiated sexual harassment claim, often it does result in the departure of the harasser. Um, so a firing or a resignation. Exactly. In 2019, a hospital paramedic reported a county fire medic made comments to her about her underwear while she was trying to get a patient's vital signs and said, I would rip them off right now. I'd do things to you that you couldn't handle. Call me. The fire medic was suspended for one day. He also had to do sexual harassment prevention training and write this two-sentence apology. In 2016, a woman reported a paratransit minibus operator for the county's Sunshine Line made unwelcome comments to her about how sexy she looked and asked her what size dress she was wearing. She told the county while she was at work, he gave her a gift bag. Inside was a product for her privates. He was suspended for two weeks, then went back to his job. In 2015, a woman doing community service at a county park reported her supervisor stared at her, touched her waist and side, and made an inappropriate comment while she was using a hose. It was his third sexual harassment complaint about touching women on the job. His discipline from the county? A written reprimand. Does that sound right to you? That's a huge red flag because you have now brought this individual and kept this individual in a workplace where they could potentially harm someone else. What do you say to taxpayers who don't like the idea of paying salaries for sexual harassers? That Hillsborough County is a great place to work and that we do not uh, tolerate sexual harassment. Based on what we found, will the county make any changes moving forward on how it handles sexual harassment? We review our policies annually uh, to determine if there's any adjustments that need to be made. So that, I mean, that sounds like a no. We do review our policies annually. Hillsborough County Commissioner Stacy White doesn't want to wait around for that. Based upon this interview, um, you know, I'll be sending a memo to the county administrator and letting her know that I'd like to start some discussions on our sexual harassment policy. He sent this memo on May 24th requesting a review of county policies and saying the county should have a separate, special distinction made for reports where a supervisor is the harasser. It certainly sounds like the termination rate has been low. That can lead to victims being in, subjected to situations where they have further interaction with that person. Earlier in May, Brazel and the county agreed to settle her retaliation lawsuit over her eventual firing. I think it's important that my voice be heard. Ultimately, I just want the county HR to do the right thing, and not just for me, for other people. Brazel says she hopes speaking publicly will encourage other county workers to come forward and reclaim their safe place too. Thanks for watching What's Brewing. Subscribe so you don't miss an episode, and I'll see you next time.